is ending, though few believe it. The Chaos Gods, the Dark Brothers, tire of their great game. Now, they seek to sweep the board clean with fire and blood. For centuries, the Empire has held firm against its enemies. Mankind has encountered no foe that steel could not tame. Or whom walls could not hold. At least, that is what they taught. No one spoke of the ancient enemy now rising from beneath. And no one will be left to tell the tale. Unless you can stem the vermin died. Vermintide, Warhammer Vermintide, The End Times. Now I saw this game and a lot of people had said to me it's like Left 4 Dead. And I quite like the Warhammer universe, I do prefer the uh, Space Marine the side of things. Um, so I was sniffing around on uh, Steam and it was £26 and I thought well I'm not paying that. And it, actually if you go to G2A at the minute they're doing it for £13.50. And I thought well for £13.50 can't go wrong. I have a new game, enjoying farming and a few other games, but I thought, you know what, if it's like Left 4 Dead, a lot of people seem to like it on Steam, getting lots of good reviews. So I thought I'd jump in. For 13.50, you can't really go wrong. So this is the first time I've jumped in. I've done this live. I'm actually doing the recording straight after, um, just to give it a little test. And I can tell you straight away, the frame rate is very good indeed, as you can see up at the top. I'm getting about 80, 90 frames a second. Everything's on epic. Uh, settings won't actually go any higher. Just going to alter my mouse sensitivity because it's a little bit too slow. Right. So it looks like we've got basic fire uh, is to attack. Left mouse button is to shield. We have potions. And the longer you hold down the fire button, um, it does a two handed attack. We also have my range attack because that's the class that I went for. Okay, the usual, you know the keys. Basic keys. I don't know what all this stuff does. We can do anything in here. Up and about, eh? Come on down, will ya? Alright, let's go down and see this this Welcome guy then. To the red moon. Thanks a it's lot. my establishment, and you'll find it's decent shelter in a store. And, as you experienced, even though it ain't raining, we're in a storm unlike any other. I'll cut to the chase until it's straight. I need you, and everyone else, to help out, or we're all doomed. See that table with a map of the city? Go have a look. It will tell you what needs to be done. Right, so I don't know what this does. Whether we come back in, you can resupply your ammo. And, and this looks like the map where we pick our actual mission to play. It's time to raise the alarm and give the town a fighting chance. Horn of Magnus. Right, let's we'll choose our difficulty. Uh, it is online co op. Um, I'm probably going to do normal for now just to get used to it. No point playing on easy, waste of time. Friends list. Uh, I presume that helps you scroll through. We apparently there are 13, 13 missions. The first one apparently is not that long in order for you to be able to get into it. This is what we have to do. Activate the Horn of Magnus. And now up at the top, it's going to... Uh, you can see, well, you can see the information at the top. It's going to match make me with three other people. And then hopefully we're going to start this game. Now it is left for dead, so right. teamwork is going to be important. And our best chance of getting the word out lies with the Magnus Tower. There's a garrison up there. Warn them if you can, but make sure the Horn of Magnus is blown. That racket will be heard clear to the mountains, and that's exactly what we want. Thank you. 
Here we are, straight in. And again, rest until the alarm is raised. frame rate to is excellent. In every patch of shadow. Caution is good. Precision in thought so this is Warhammer is the Fantasy side. I said I do prefer Space Marines and the Orcs, but you know, maybe they'll do something with that. So, okay, so it's, it's draw it back and then fire. So as a ranged, ranged archer, I can probably take some of these out. I am playing with mouse and keyboard. You can play with a 360 pad. And uh, apparently you can sneak ah, past a lot of these uh, Skaven. Now, they are Skaven. A lot of people call them rats. And while they are rats, they're actually called Skaven within the universe. I know quite a bit about Skaven. Uh, when I was younger, I was right into the Warhammer. Um, I never actually played the games, though. I just used to enjoy painting the figures. And the Skaven, uh, I used to love painting and drawing the Skaven. They're, uh, they're a great set of characters. And I um, don't really want to kill them. I want to play as the Skaven, but maybe that'll come in a, in another update. It would be cool to do PvP. But at the minute, it's just Left 4 Dead style. Let's have a look. Yeah, graphics, uh, while not hyper-realistic, they have got that kind of Warhammer feel to them. Shafts. That doesn't sound uh, too inviting. So I'm probably just going to try and stay back a little bit. Um, not quite sure what's going on. And uh, obviously, as a ranged, a ranged class, I'm going to try and take some of these out. A good kill. Guess I need to be faster. Looks like I can actually run out of arrows. I've got 41 arrows left. Um, and then I can uh, flick with my uh, Q key. will automatically set me over to my uh, close quarters, which is at the minute is my double blades. And if I use it, it may be the three key, but I've been using my uh, mouse wheel. I can highlight that potion. And it looks like potions either give you a health or, depending on which one you pick up, give you a speed boost, uh, vulnerability, etc. etc. And it looks like some of the other classes. Uh, throw bombs and all sorts so there's quite a lot as I can see there are another two square slots there uh, so that it looks like you can actually pick up more things Jesus what the fuck was that gutter runners employ smoke bombs to master escape make sure they are dead before moving on yeah it is very left for dead it's got that sort of feel to it team player you know whoa Fuck. I need to swap to my uh, close quarters. Okay, you don't hold down the mouse button then. You ha physically have to click it. And it looks like if I uh, bring up my uh, defend, I can push. Uh, and if I hold down the fire button, it looks like it goes for a heavy attack. But obviously, at the minute, I'm better off getting my... Oh, didn't want to fall down there. Better get my bone arrow out. Wow, that thing moves fast. This of <laughs> Looks like I've got a rattling gun. Oh, of course, rat. Rattling gun. Oh, yeah, very good. The sound effects to the 3D sounds like they're behind me, so that's why I'm constantly having to turn around. How about you, Skaven? Oh, a little bit of freeze frame there. I think that's because I'm recording. I'm going to try and get the blocking right. Because it looks like as I block, you actually run out of adrenaline. Um, so you can push them back. There we go. Oh, sounds like it's behind me again. Now, there is a quite an RPG element to this, as in there are loot drops. And apparently there is a lot of loot. Lots of different weapons, upgrades, and all sorts for each class. And they are specific to each class. So I may find a, a flaming explosive arrows in some particular loot drop but it'll only be specific I to me and only my class can actually use it stone. and as of the release now it's uh f there are five different uh classes at the minute well you saw that at the beginning 
I'm just going to try and stay back a little bit and take these out at a distance. Now we have actually just battled through, I wouldn't say bosses, but um, let's just say a couple of big Skaven. Uh, sort of like a mini boss sort of thing, we've just been fighting them off. And the reason I've cut that out is I don't want to spoil it for you in case you're going to get this game. As I said, so far there are, there are 13 missions, each one takes you about 25 minutes, half an hour to complete, depending on what difficulty you're on. So it's up for £13.50, it's quite a good game, so if you like the Warhammer, you like Left 4 Dead, you're probably really going to like this game actually. <coughs> Some death or drunk who didn't hear the horn. Now I think he was here as if I stay here, it might protect me a little bit. Ye foolish para. Eh dear oh dear. Not bad for a witch. Rip you a new asshole! Come on! As you can see, my health at the bottom right is very, very low indeed. I have to take a quick potion quickly. Doesn't seem to have done anything, so I don't know what that potion was. My uh, health bar has not gone up, and uh, I'm about to get my little ratty ass bitten. That's right, cunt. So as you can see, even though I had low health there, I was actually taken out because one of the uh, Skaven dropped a uh, toxic bomb which I was still studying, which takes your health down very quickly indeed. Apparently there are a lot of diverse different types of Skaven and there are different missions such as dungeons, forests, you name it, all sorts, so apparently the levels that really are quite diverse. <laughs> And if we can survive and get through this, I shall actually show you what happens when you get a loot drop at the end. A little bit confusing, I still need to work it out, so if anybody does know, I shall show you. I'm just gonna fend off these last little ratty bastards. Get everywhere, and this is on normal. I think there are two more um, difficulty levels after this, including friendly fire mode as well, so that's going to be rather difficult indeed. So here we are, victorious. And this is the screen you're going to get at the end. And there's something pops up about the dice, so it just seems that it is quite a random roll. So far, what do I think of the game? Do you know what? For £13.50, you can't go wrong. There are five different classes, lots of diverse missions, difficulty levels, loot drops. So overall, yeah, I think it's worth it. I certainly wouldn't pay £26.99 on Steam. But if you can go to a G G2A and get a key, for 13 quid, you can't really go wrong, can you? Especially with your mates. So this is it. It looks like we get to roll a dice and get a random loot drop. So let's click the button. Not quite sure I understand all that on the right, but I'm just going to roll the dice anyway. And what have we won? Rifle, was it? We've run a hacky bus or a blunderbus. Right, it's, we're hitting an enemy, so it looks like that's locked. And we have to visit the forge. Okay, so let's visit the forge and see what that is. So here we are back at the inn. I presume there's going to be a forge in here somewhere. 
And uh, don't know if this is my room or somebody else's room. There's the blunderbuss there. Oh. Well, they're all down there. Must be something down here then. Just looking for a forge. Okay, what's everybody looking at in here? Inventory. Okay. Uh. What's this? Okay, so that's a single sword. So where's me? Where's me pistol? Oh, this look, looks like it could be a little bit like Diablo, you know, with loot drops and things like that. But so how do I? Where's me? Where's the rifle? Okay. Well, it's not. Don't look like a forge. What's this? It's just a re-ammo. What's down here? Aha! The forge. Right. Okay. So this is confusing. Add five items of the same rarity to forge a new one. So does that mean I've got to find five of those blunderbusses in order to make? Uh. The hell. Oh, there it is. Right. What do I do with it? Drag it in there? Okay. Well, guys, I might have to look into this a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. Do I have to drag five weapons in and deconstruct them into a new one? Not sure. Don't understand. There's no instructions on what that does. But uh, anyway, it looks like I've got a new elven sword. Looks like it's something straight out of the Witcher. Anyway, guys, this has been a first look at... Get out of my way, dandy boy. First look at uh, Scavillian. Uh, Vermilion, should I say. Uh, the Warhammer universe. It's Left for Dead. Four-player co-op. Quite enjoyable. Probably just a bit of a hack and slash, but then again, Left for Dead is the same thing with weapons, isn't it? And uh, if you start to get unlocks and loot drops and all that sort of stuff, then... Yeah, I can see this being quite enjoyable. I may put up another video if you want to see any more. I know there are tons of videos out there on YouTube and I've hardly got any subscribers, so I do wonder what's the point sometimes, but, you know, why not? It's nice to get a thumbs up occasionally and uh, have a break from the usual games. Right, I'm off back into the dungeon to kick some scaven ass. I shall see you on the other side. I've been para playing Warhammer. I've forgotten the name of it already. Never mind. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.